The family of Gabby Petito is suing Utah police for $50 million, alleging that Moab officers failed to act on, quote, telltale signs of domestic violence. In August 2021, police confronted Gabby and Brian Laundry while on a cross country road trip just weeks before she disappeared. And in body cam footage, Petito says that Laundry grabbed her during an argument, but she also says she was the one that started the physical altercation. Police allowed the two to leave separately. Petito's family says the Moab department failed to recognize the signs and it contributed to her murder. Joining us now is Brian Stewart, the Petito family's lawyer. Brian, thank you for being here. Thank you. What do Petito's parents believe police could have done differently to protect her? Well, they believe that the officers, if they had followed Utah law, they would have investigated the 911 call, they would have investigated Gabby's injuries, and they would have seen that Gabby was the victim and that Brian was the uh, predominant uh, aggressor. And they, and they should have effected an arrest to separate the two um, um, by, by an official action that night. She herself says that she started the physical altercation. Does that make a difference? Well, that's exactly what you'd expect a victim of That's what the police training would tell them, the uh, training and the legality assessment protocol would tell them that very often victims of domestic violence will take blame and try to... Uh... Brian, I'm so sorry. We just had a, an audio issue there. Can you start answering that question one more time for us? Uh, she says that she started that altercation herself. What do you make of that? Well, I mean, in fact, she didn't uh, start the altercation. The 911 callers show that uh, he was hitting her first and that he injured her. But more importantly, the officer's training would tell them that uh, victims of domestic violence often will try to take blame and try to uh, say that they deserve uh, the, the treatment that they got. And officers sh should know that, that to expect that and know to investigate further. And if they had done that, they would have seen that Gabby was clearly the victim. Certainly, and I do appreciate your time. Brian Stewart, thank you so much for your time tonight. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.